Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Steam World Heist. It's by Image Inform Games. It released today, June 7th, 2016. And if you guys grab it before June 14th, you can get it for 15% off. Now, I did play Steam World Dig, actually. That was one of my, I wouldn't say my first, but one of my first few... LPs that I actually did, and I enjoyed it. It was fun. It was different. Uh, they recommend we use a controller for this. I'm going to try it with the keyboard and mouse. We'll see. I may change. I don't know, but I'm excited to give this a shot. I didn't even know this was coming, and all of a sudden it was in my email. I saw it released today on Steam. and was like, huh, cool. Let me give it a shot. So we're going to give it a shot. We'll see. I don't know. It's going to be fun, I think. It's different than SteamWorld Dig in many ways. Anyway, we're going to go real quick and we're going to take a look at the opening cinematic or video, if you will. And then we'll come back and we'll begin our endeavor. The Earth, broken into a million shards, forcing its steam-driven inhabitants into space. Hard-working folks known as cowbutts survive by farming moisture and mining what little land is left, constantly dealing with all sorts of space jerks. There are the gangs of scrap metal meanies roaming about, preying on the weak, and completely disregarding basic manners. Then there are the diesel-driven royalists, a bunch of oppressive bullies, abusing their power and bleeding the cow butts dry. To top it all off, there are rumors of something far more dangerous stirring in the depth of space, waking from its age-long slumber. These are the descendants of a shattered planet, and this, my distinguished gentlebots, is the new Steam World. Alright, it's time for us to deal with some space jerks, ladies and gentlemen. Let's begin. Start. New game. I haven't even touched this yet. I have no idea how this is going to work. Uh, if you're used to turn-based strategy, <laughs> I am, I like turn-based, anyway, uh, award a small, awards a small bonus and experience points. Uh, I, yeah, sure, we'll go with experienced. This, uh, setting can be changed before every mission. Alright, cool. Piper Faraday, notorious smuggler and occasional pirate, is having a rough time. A brutal gang of thugs called Scrappers are spreading across her turf in the outskirts. Stealing everything in sight, they have even been known to kidnap the locals. Their presence could draw unwanted attention from the Royal Space Force. In short, they are bad for business. Low on water, Piper and her mates have boarded a Scrapper ship, aiming to relieve them of their ill-gotten cargo. And of course, it all went according to plan. Of course it did, of course. I have no idea how this is going to work, guys and gals. I'm excited, though. Ouch. Oh. Blast. This did not go according to plan. I, she's female. It doesn't sound much like a female voice to me, I know. But what can I do? What a positively macabre place. I can look up. Oh, like by scrolling the mouse. Okay. Hey, fellas, you all right? Right. Better get up there and help out. All right. Move the cursor to the target. W A S D. Oh. Okay. Confirm movement. Press F to end turn. Interesting. WASD to open, space, confirm. A whole cowbot down here? Ain't I lucky? Mind if I help myself to some of your water? When I'm done with you, I'll use you for spare parts. Ha! <laughs> you just try it, bub. Alright, let's have some fun. Let's get over here and take some cover. So you don't really use the mouse for much, do you? Left control draws the gun. And then you can use... Oh, that's that's weird. Okay. So you really don't use a mouse for much. Alright. Aim and fire. 
Shot him right in the face hole. You saw that, guys and gals? All right, we're going to draw our gun again. We're going to shoot him right back up in his face hole, and down he goes. Ha! All right, this is pretty interesting. I like the game mechanics. It's pretty neat. We, I guess we can move. We can look around with our mouse. F is guard. Careful now. All right, we're going to go up here, and we're going to open the door. Turrets, fancy security for a hunk of junk. But I can cover behind that shadow barrel. Sprint to cover. How do we sprint? Okay. Try stopping me. I won't be able to fire after a sprint like that. I'll just wait my turn here. Oh, deflected. Right, my turn. Better amp up my gun so I can take that turret out with one shot. I don't want to trust another go, another go covering behind this thing. All right. So, left control, select ability. Turn around with A, okay, and then aim. All right, this is cool. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. And fire. Boom! Wrecked power shot. All right, find our crew. And we get to see, oh, we can move the camera with, oh, that's interesting. So we don't need the mouse at all. All right, I'll just leave the mouse, I guess, somewhere down over here. That's cool. We'll get up on up here and we will, I guess, cover or guard ourselves. We'll open this. Not sure what's going to happen. Is there anything in here that's going to try to eat us? No. Nope. All right, we'll guard. We're careful now. We're going to open this up. There are some baddies. Sea brass. You took your sweet time, Captain. And here I was coming to save you and all. Where's the rest of my crew? They got scrapped and hauled off. I'm the only one left. Yeah! Dang it. Well, we need to get out of here before we end up like or in some scrap heap. All right. Aye, aye, Captain. All right, we're going to go take cover behind the barrel. And we're going to... Huh, that's interesting. All right. I have a plan. What if I what if I ricochet my shot off the, the, the roof here? That could work, right? Alright, see brass, let's see what you got, buddy. Let's see what you got. Oh, we can tab between our, our units if we wanted to. Alright, left control. Oh, we don't know exactly where this is gonna fire at, huh? Alright, that's cool. Ow, his face. Okay, that being said, let's take another shot. We'll definitely take this guy oop, definitely take this guy out. Down he goes. What if we just eh. All right, well, I'm gonna give it a shot, guys and gals. I think we almost hit ourselves. Oh, shiver me timbers, he shot off our hat. That is not okay. All right, we're gonna use power shot this time around. Right in his face. Then we're gonna move over here. And I'm hoping this works. It did. All right, pretty sweet. Evacuate to the upper side. There's our way out. Let's steal some of their, uh, steal one of their escape pods. I'm sorry. Uh, toot sweet, toot sweet. What is that? What does it even mean? All right, first, why don't you go over here and grab your hat back, buddy? It's pretty important. Hat off, hat on. All right, let's open the door. It looks like there are some a nemesis. Oh, he fired at a barrel and didn't do anything with it. That's interesting. All right, we're gonna go behind said barrel. We're going to use our left control to shoot you in the chest. I'm gonna open this. And we're going to hopefully be able to aim 
at you and take you out. Here we go. Yeah! Ooh, even hit the other guy up top. Nice. Oh, he shot us in the knee. Alright. And we're gonna use power shot here, and we're gonna say... Oops, we're gonna say good day to you, sir. Down he goes, and what are we gonna do with you? Let's move you here. Have you guard. Evast, you matey! Alright, we'll get on up here, and we'll take this out. There's nothing to do over there, so we gotta get moving up to the front, or the top, as it were. Not too bad, not too bad so far. Alright, we're gonna open this up, and all we gotta do is make it in there to evacuate, huh? I gotta say, I'm a fan, this is pretty sweet. I like this, it's different. It's actually quite different. Let's cancel it and let's evacuate. Alright, board the escape pod and finish the mission. Swag collected 100%. Yeah. It's pretty neat. It's a pretty cool uh, plan. All according to plan, successful. Container, a small but rewarding amount of treats. <laughs> Swag. A few swills of water, the essential resource for steam bots. Objective swag and difficulty. Yeah. Oh dear, is this good or bad? Welcome back, Captain. Dang it, Wonky. We won't get any work done with these scrappers hogging everything in sight. <clears throat> the no good steam maggots are even pilfering the parts of honest cowbots. Well, we'll have to do something about it. They hold off most of our crew back there. Yeah, I'm still here. With the water shortage, it's a tough spot. No mistaking it. This puts us at skeleton crew. <clears throat> what? Am I invisible? We didn't even get that much water. We'll need more gallons to get back on our feet. I'll have to figure something out. Okay, ma'am. Just set the course over. Wait. Okay, ma'am. Just set the course over on the map table and I'll get us moving. Alright. Oh, we can just walk around willy nilly now, all like, what's up? We can talk to our boy here. Golly, that went bad. Those patchy bolt heads had me staggered. Yarrr. Makes me squeamish about boarding bigger vessels, it does. I don't feel much like ending up in some scrap heap. Right you are, sailor. Right you are. So, pretty cool little ship we have here. Can't do anything to anything except the map table, it seems. Alright, that's cool. Alright, let's see what we have for the map table. We need to find some more gallons. Well, it looks like... We only have one choice. With nothing but Ripper-class scrappers aboard, this tiny vessel should be easy pickings, even for a small and desperate crew. Grab as much as possible and get out. Cool. Alright, yep, let's do it. Smuggler Captain Piper Faraday and her trusty pilot Wonky hide out in the outskirts, far away from any royal jail. Brings out the best in her crewmates. Alright. Um. I see, I see. I suppose we don't have anything extra to equip with or anything. A uh, hat. A ship requires many things. A captain but one. Proper headwear to show who's boss. Who's the boss? You're the boss. By the way, guys, if I didn't mention it, I think I did early on, uh, this is designed to be played with a controller as well, so if you have a controller to hook to your computer, uh, maybe you would prefer that to the keyboard controls. I like the keyboard controls. I think they're actually quite good. I'm going to continue to roll with them. We'll see. I may try the next episode that we do with um, the, the controller and see which one I like better. This one, I'm sticking with the keyboard. All right. What do we have here? Gabriel Seabrass Stub. This dour whaler bot lost everything he held dear when the royalists monopolized the whale oil industry. He's good at heading up the vanguard. 
All right, your default scatter, uh, scatterer, decent spread but low accuracy, used if no other weapon is equipped, requires no inventory space, and we have no other weapon. Okay. And of course, we have nothing there. Uh, fisherman beanie, a thick vertical knitted beanie, smells of salt sea and whale clobbering. Seriously, you can feel the rage from its former owner oozing all over. All right, let's uh, check out her gun too. Your default scoped combat, compact gun with smart aiming, used if no other weapon is equipped, requires no inventory space. All right, cool. Let's begin. Probably be able to get at least one more mission done. Hint, you cannot sprint and shoot at the same turn. I'm out of drink, darn it. I'm beverageless. Can you hear me? It's wonky. I know his voice is going to keep changing. Can you hear me? It's wonky. I've hooked up some exposed plumbing on this ship. So I, now I can speak to you. Weird. This should be an easy mission. Nothing like the last one. Just grab all the gallons you can. Oh, and if you should come across any epic swag, make sure you bring it back. Alrighty. Alright, so we have her. I come here... Oops, I actually totally failed at that. That was not the play. Yep. That was that that dare was a mistake. I think we're gonna have to retreat, which I am not a fan of. Okay, well you know what? I don't necessarily have to retreat. I can go there. Hmm. Well, let's try the shot. I mean, I don't know that we'll be able to hit it, but we'll give it a shot. Nope, it deflected. I we still hit somebody though. She got shot in the face. She's probably gonna get shot in the face again. Nope, hit the barrel. And then this dude's gonna shoot him, but he's done, so there's no problem there. Hmm. All right. Well. Oh, sorry, I'm hitting the wrong button. I'm like, well, it's going on. It's woo, we crit or something. That was amazing. All right, well, let's say goodbye to your face, buddy. You don't get to live through that. And he missed again as well. All right, we're gonna go with good old sea brass down here first. Let him come up and over. And what do you guys think? Do you think it's possible that we can deflect like almost straight down and up into him? Give it a shot. Alright, nope, we missed. We hit the thing behind him though. Alright, shot him in the face. Gah! He's gonna come down, he's gonna shoot sea brass in the knee, or the ankle, or something. Alright, so C, C's got this. Don't even worry about it. He's like, whatevs. Not even a problem. Say goodbye to your head! Oh, that actually did not kill him. That's odd. Well, that did. Alright, so we've taken him out of the field of battle. There's no way to heal or recover, unfortunately. Alright, we're gonna move over here. That was kind of an interesting starting thing. I did screw up at the beginning there, though, guys and gals, so be aware of that. Uh, I guess we'll go and hide behind this box. Or this barrel, rather. And we will, um... We'll come get some swagaliciousness. There we are. And we can pick up the hat there. Not sure what exactly it did for us. But it was a thing. Alright. You get to open the door. Get you to come on in here and probably get you to shoot this guy in the face, is my guess. Dagan it. Hmm. Probably just shoot from here. What kind of ricochet shot can I do? Ah! Oh, I tried to time it and I failed. I'm sorry, folks. Bad Bumpy is bad. Ow. Alright. Well. Oh. 
Alright, what are we looking at here? Straight up shot. Completely wrecked him from beneath. He's completely crushed and totally destroyed there. There's absolutely no chance he lives. And this time, it's possible to miss at point blank in the face. It is sweet, sweet and nice. We're going to have our boy come on up here. Just kind of chill. I suppose... There's nothing really else to do. There might be something up there. Alright, we're going to have her move over here. And I guess he can move up here as well. Alright. Seabrass, get on over here. Open this door. Is there anybody in here? There is not. Come on here and take this. We have three out of five swag. We're going to come here and chill up against this door. We're going to wait for the C1 himself to get over here. And we'll see what he does. Alright, we're going to open the door and there is a bad guy over yonder. Alright, we're going to move on in and we're going to shoot you in the head. Wow, we did four damage straight up. Nice. Took him completely out of the uh, battle. Um, I guess that's it. We've collected the swag. You should have enough water by now and we... Oh, yeah. You should have enough water by now and we won't get paid for wrecking scrappers. Just pocket all the swag and head for an escape pod. Evacuation is here. Alright, well, that's easy enough. I gotta say, guys and gals, I like this game. This is, like, surprising. Like, I enjoyed SteamWorld Dig. It, it, I'll, I'll be honest, it wasn't my favorite game, but I still enjoyed it. I thought it was a pretty good game. And it was surprisingly fun. Like, I was actually kind of blown away by how much I enjoyed what the game was. It wasn't really my style of game. This is my style of game, and it's amazing. I really like it. I like the turn-based tactical strategy part of it. I like the use of cover. I like the fact that you get to actually aim your character. It's really cool. It's really neat. This is a really fun game. You guys should definitely check it out if you uh, are a long-time user of the Freak Show channel here. You should definitely check this out. Board the escape pod and finish the mission. Yes. Sweet success. Filling up successful. A small but rewarding amount of treats. Let's see. Gold bar, treasure, a glimmering solid investment caused caused an elusive fever pitch during the gold rush. Ought to yield a good day's pay when sold. Oh, do I have to... Okay, hat. This bowler might be a bit worse for the wear, but it's still uh, stylish, right? Anyway, it's better than freezing your scalp off. Alright. Oh, we get to open the bags and the chests and stuff, and we also get to see all the loot that we have. Alright, and this is what we got. A few swills of water, the essential resource for Steambots. Okay. Epic swag container. The grand prize, a hard-to-come-by goodie. Will most certainly contain something more powerful than your average swag. Epic swag gives you plus one star reputation. Oh snap, the carry-on pistol. Mm -hmm. A primitive but a accurate lead spitter. And does what it's supposed to. Cool. What else we got? More water and more water. Well, there you go. Objective plus epic swag plus no casualties equals a three-star bonus. The outskirts total. Cool. And the experience gained objective, swag, and difficulty bonus. Cool, cool. Hey, we gained a level up. And I... Hmm. The... Let's see. Battle experience has taught this crewmate a new ability. Unlock to see what it is. Alright, we hit spacebar to unlock, I guess. We gained uh, one health. That's actually pretty legit. I'm a fan. So this is what we have right now. We have handgun. This character can use handgun class weapons. Handgun we class weapons consist of pistols and revolvers. They, are t they typically have medium range and deal medium damage and can sometimes fire multiple times. Where a sharpshooter is Piper, this character can use sharpshooter class weapons. Sharpshooter class weapons consist of sniper pistols and other precision weapons. Some, al some limit your movement but make up for it with laser sights, high critical hit chance, and good damage. And of course we have our additional power shot. 
Fires a regular shot that deals plus one uh, damage, and now we just gain one health. Cool. And our boy, level two. The Sea Brass himself. Alright, new ability, battle experience has taught us. What do we have? Payback. Vanguards become enraged from taking damage. When enraged, their next attack will deal plus two bonus damage. That's pretty legit. He's good at hand guns and assault weapons. This character can use assault class weapons. Assault class weapons consist of shotguns and submachine guns. Very efficient in short range combat and can damage multiple targets. Cool. And there you have it. Let's go to our ship and see what's next. And I'll be breaking off the episode right about now before we go on to the next actual mission. That should be enough water. Let's head for Gat's Bar and spend it. Yeah, I'd like a new cannon. Give me a trustworthy gun any day over an inexperienced crewmate. I thought we weren't welcome at Gat's anymore. Well, now we've got gallons to spend, and Gat's not an unreasonable fellow. Okay, uh, sorry. Apparently my cursor decided to scroll me down there. Alright folks, this is where I'm going to break off of the episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed up to this point. This is also requested. Somebody requested me cover this. I was planning to do so anyway, but I did get that message, and, well, I'm just mentioning it. Thanks for requesting it. You guys can request games. I can't play everything. I play a lot of stuff. I don't even have time to play half the things I do. But I think there's so many amazing games out there, guys and gals. I try to at least do something, showcase it in some way on the channel so you guys know what's out there. It's just something I want to do. I might not even like every game that I cover. There will be tons of games that I love. This is definitely one of them. But there might be games that I don't particularly care for, but I know other people will like it, so I showcase it, and we go on from there. And I try to stick to what I really enjoy playing, for the most part. That way, it's not an LP of something I just despise. So, there you have it, folks. That is me in a nutshell, and the Freak Show in a nutshell. If you guys want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, it will be all down below in the description of the video. If you guys enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And I will catch you guys next time with more SteamWorld Heist. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.